Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the usage of git stash commands. So mainly the git stash is used to store some of your changes on a temporary memory of git and whenever you need, you can retrieve back the changes back to your project. So that's the main usage of git stash and sometimes uh, if you are ready to commit but if you don't want some of the files to commit you can put that in a git stash or if you're switching between branches and if you have an untracked file then git doesn't allow you to switch so in that case you can go for git stash and store the untracked files in the git temporary memory and you can retrieve back or in case if you need to just test something and if that doesn't work you need to try back so in that case also you can go for git stash so let's see how the git stash work so if I track the status so here I'm on the branch one that you can see here if I put the status so here it's saying that my branch is up to date and nothing to commit so let's say I'm going to add a new function and the function name let's say this is octagon pass let's save this file okay so now here it's showing that the tracker files here and if you put the git status it will show you the newly modified changes on the tutorials.py so if I want this octagon change to be on the temporary memory, what I can do is I can use a command git stash save followed by the message. So let's say I have added method for octagon. So I just save it as an octagon for my reference. So now you can see that that particular method gets removed from the project and it gets saved in the git temporary memory. So at any time, if you want to see you can use a command git stash list it will list the number of stashes that get stored in the git temporary memory so let's say if you want to pop up this list so there is a difference between pop and apply that that is what we are going to see so let's see if you want to apply this octagon back to your project you have to use a command git stash pop so what this pop will do means it will take this octagon from the stash memory out so when you put the git stash list the stash list will be empty because it will be taken out from the git stash memory if you use a pop if you use a apply it will still remain in the git stash memory so let's see how pop work so git stash pop so when you use a pop if you have a number of stashes then the zeroth one will pop up first and the first one will pop up next so this is how the pop work so let's say git stash pop and here you can see the changes the method gets retrieved and let's get added to the tutorials.py so if you use or if you if you want to see the git stash list you can see that it's empty because we have popped out okay so now let's say git I'm saving this again so now this untracked change get removed and if I use an apply it will remain in the git stash memory so let's see how to apply first we will list the git stash here you can see that git stash get listed and if you want to apply this list so let me add another stash so that uh, you can understand in a better way so we have already added octagon so let's say i want to try hexagon as well so now i can use a git stash to save this hexagon in a temporary memory so now this get removed because i have put it on the stash so if I list the number of stashes using a command git stash list, it will list 2, 0 and 1. So let's say if I want to apply this stash 1 to my project, I should use a command git stash apply followed by the stash name. Stash at inside the curly braces, you have to put a 1. 1. 
so what it will do means it will apply the octagon changes to this project so let's say if you put so here you can see that it apply the octagon changes but if you use a command git stash list your stashes will still remain in the memory because you are not popping out you are just using an apply so this stash will remain in the temporary memory of git but if you again uh, try to stash it will show a merge conflict so you need to resolve the merge conflict so if you want to delete the stash you can use a command so let's go one by one if you want to entirely delete the stash memory you can use git stash clear but if you're going to enter all the stashes will get removed but if you want to delete the stash one by one you can use a method git stash drop it works similar to git stash apply so instead of applying it will delete so git stash drop followed by the stash name so let's say I want to delete the zeroth one that is I want to delete the hexagon so if you list the git stash now you can see that this one that is stash one which is pointing to octagon is moved to stash zero got it right because this get removed so now the beauty of the git stash is you can apply this stash that is temporary memory on any branches on the repository so I'm on the branch one okay. so here it is showing a change so let's let's discard the change okay now I will check out to my master so now here you can see that at the bottom I changed it to master so now here if I use a git stash list it will list the octagon in the master branch as well because I stash the portion on a branch one but again I have switched to master and if I use it's stash list it's still listing the stash zero here so if I want to apply this stash zero that is octagon on my master I have to use the same command git stash apply stash at zero right so this get applied on the master so once you're done with everything and if you want to clear the stash as I said you can use a method git stash clear it will completely delete the temporary stash memory that's it so if we use a git stash list you cannot see anything because all the memory gets removed git destroyed so this is how the git stash work on git let me know if you have any doubt thank you for watching this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye